So here's a question I received um, on one of the comments from one of the videos I posted on YouTube. The question is, how do I get rid of this security lock? Like for instance, for me to get in here, and I changed it already, so this is not the right one. I have to type, I have to do my password, right? Let's see if that works. Oops, did I get it wrong? Uh, let's try that. Okay, so for instance, you notice when I get in, and how did I get here? Let me just go back. All right, so I'm in privileged mode. And in privileged mode, when you hit here, and you go to settings, on settings, there's a security option. And most of you may have used the screen lock to lock it. Well, what if you don't want a screen lock? What if you just want the Nordic track to boot up like normally to, uh, to the, to the um, iFit app? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that. You come here to screen lock, obviously. And it's gonna ask you for either your pattern, your password, your pin, whatever. So I had a little screen there. <clears throat> and now you notice the option to pick none, it's grayed out. It says it's disabled by administrator, encryption policy, or credential storage. You can't even do a swipe, because that's also disabled. Only thing it's gonna let you do is do a pin or a password. Well, I don't want that. So this is what I've, uh, this is what I read, and I've never tried it before. I'm going to try it now. But for the time being, let me put in a pin just so I'll have something. And uh, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, what I heard and what I've read, and I'm going to try it here. If I jack up my Nordic track, then I've jacked it up. But I, I'm pretty trustworthy from the res from the sources that I've read up on. It says to come here again. We're here in privileged mode. It says to go into security, and then it says to come here to under credential storage, it says to click on clear credentials. And when you click on clear credentials, it says remove all the contents. Now, that's scary. That's an attention uh, pop-up window. But everything I've read, it only removes any of the security features. It doesn't remove trusted CA certificates. It doesn't remove your pictures. It doesn't remove anything. Again, we're talking about the Nordic Track uh, uh, treadmill here. So, you, you know, the main worry here is that you're going to be able to boot this up and it'll work. And the great thing is that we have Nordic Track customer service. As bad as they can be, the great thing is if you tell them that your system's not booting up, you obviously don't tell them you were in privilege mode. You just tell them for some reason it's not working. They will work with you. They'll either send you uh, software on a thumb drive or they'll give you a talk through on how to do it. And I believe most of the times they'll send you software on a thumb drive. I know because I've received software on a thumb drive. And I can uh, talk about that more extensively uh, in a future video. Anyway, remove all contents. You know what? Here we go. Here we go. Boom. All right. You know what, it said something there, and I have no idea what it said, but it probably said something like, um, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to replay this back. But you notice the clear credentials option is no longer there. So let's go back into screen lock, and it said it was set to pin, let's see what happens. So it's still asking me for a pin. So let's go ahead and put the pin in, and then see if we have the option of picking no password. Be right back. And lo and behold, we do. This is awesome. This is why I love um, going out there doing research and then sharing it with you guys so that I could be the one that has the, uh, the, the pain if I would have had to restore my entire machine back from fa uh, for factory default. So now I can just hit none. Let's go ahead and hit none. Remove unlock pin. Device protection features will no longer work. That's fine. Yes, I don't want anything protected. And now I don't have a screen lock on this. So, you see right there, screen lock, none. So now if I come back, I get out of here, and I'm going to reboot my machine and see if it reboots to Android or if it reboots to uh, the iFit program, okay? So the first thing I'll do is actually go to the iFit program. See if, uh, 
Close all of these out, close out Netflix. See if it'll go straight to iFood Cardio or if it's gonna reboot. Ah, went back, okay. So now I'm, now that it's in the normal state, and I'm also going to take it out of privileged mode. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand. Five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Privileged mode to false. Okay, so now this machine no longer can go into privileged mode. I can no longer swipe up or swipe down, right? So when I boot this machine, I'm hoping that it will boot up and go straight and tie fit <clears throat> that it will no longer go into the Android desktop. I don't know, we'll see. I'm doing this for the first time. So you and I will be seeing this, the results of the clear credentials option together. I'm hoping that it goes straight to the iFit program because I know a lot of you have commented and at least one person has said, hey, I wanna get rid of the privilege mode. Uh, I would like for it to boot up straight to the iFit software, the iFit Cardio app, just like it did in the past. Especially if you have a rep coming over, which uh, I've never had a rep come over. I've had this machine for two years. All right, here we go. Let's see what happens. iFit's turning and turning, and any moment now, it'll stop turning, and it should kick something in. It seems to be going a little longer than usual. By this time, I would have had my Android desktop, and... Oh, this is awesome. This is truly awesome. I believe it's set back to the way it was because normally it would do that and then boom, iFit would kick in. <clears throat> Let's see. There's usually a little pause. <clears throat> oh yes, great. So now we have, we have steps that we can take so that if we happened to configure a password, a pattern, a pin, a swipe, gesture now we know that we can go back in there clear credentials and then get our iFit and get our uh, Nordic track x22i or whatever you have back to normal it just boots right here and look yep now my worry is that I can get back into privilege mode let me just test this out real quick while you guys are here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so I can still get in if I have to. All right, great. All right, so here's one more test we're gonna do. Now that privilege mode is on, right? Let's go back to iFit. And now, oh, I'm sorry. Let me get, let me. Uh, X out of this. So from now from here, with privilege mode on, because as you can see, privilege mode is set. Let's see if this boots to the desktop or if it boots to iFit. So you know for a fact if privilege mode is off, it will boot like a normal machine. Uh, you'll turn it off, turn it on, and it boots straight to the iFit. It does not go to the desktop. So let's do this one more time. On my X22i. <clears throat> so it's booting up. And I have privilege mode set to true. <clears throat> I don't have a password. So I'm hoping that even with privilege mode on, this should boot to the iFit software. But it might boot to the Android desktop. I don't know. We'll see. And if it does, then I know what I need to do. I just need to take it off privilege mode, reboot it, and then it'll boot straight up to the iFit um, app. All right? So if this boots up straight to the desktop, I'm fine with that. That's good. We know what we need to do. Just take it out of privilege mode, reboot it, and it'll go straight to iFit. But the great thing about this video is now, if you need to remove your password, or if you need to uh, put in uh, no password, or you want to put a swipe or something, or if you want to reset it so there's no security credentials, so uh, voila. So if you have privilege mode on, it boots up to your desktop. If you don't have privilege mode on, what happens is right here, it'll be a dark screen. And then it'll be like five, four, three, two, one. That blank screen will go away and then iFit will kick in. And I believe that's what will happen here. So give it a few seconds and iFit should automatically kick in because I believe there's some uh, launcher software that's built in so that even though it goes to the desktop, um, 
even though you have privilege mode on, that it should kick an eye fit. Then again, I don't know. But as you can see, um, it hasn't kicked an eye fit yet. <clears throat> we'll give it a few more seconds. Actually, we'll give it 10 seconds, all right? And actually, we'll use, we'll use the clock to give us a countdown, all right? I believe, let's see. Ready, go. We'll give it 10 seconds. Isn't that cool? There's an actual stopwatch here. <clears throat> All right, stop that. Let's reset it. Swipe out of here. All right. So now you know if you have privilege mode on, it boots to the desktop. But you notice it didn't ask for a password or anything. Okay, and the reason for that was because we went into security and we cleared credentials, okay? So let's get out of here. And one more time, for you guys that want to get rid of uh, your credentials and you want this booting up straight to the uh, iFit application, what you do is you go into the privilege mode, you go into settings, you go into security, and you will have that clear credentials option that you can click. You click it, it'll say, you sure, you hit OK, and then what it'll do is it'll come in here and allow you to get into your screen lock. You'll still have to provide the credentials that you did initially, but then once you're in there, they'll all be, once you, they'll all be available, okay? And I'm just hitting none, of course. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this really quick. Let's get out of here. I'm going to get out of privilege mode. Here's, an, here's something I haven't tried. So let's try to get out of privilege mode while I'm actually in privilege mode. Is that something you could do? Let's try it. All right, so here I am on the desktop. I'm gonna try to get out of privilege mode while I'm in privilege mode, and I'm gonna use the black hole. Isn't that cool? I can get in and out of privilege mode using a black hole. Wow, now th if this isn't awesome, I don't know. All right, can you tell I've been quarantined for a while? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand, six, one thousand, seven, one thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Setting privilege mode to false. You notice as soon as I did that, boom. Look at that. Nothing. But it will allow me to get into iFit. Isn't that cool? Now, what if I swipe this out? So it doesn't matter. So now I no longer can get into iFit. I'll let it do its thing. <clears throat> and then I'll reboot it. Just so that you could see that when you, when you disable privilege mode, when privilege mode equals false, that this machine is like you never touched it. It will automatically boot up and go straight into, I, into iFit. And we're going to do one last test here. Uh, no, if, if you already believe me, you don't have to stick around. <clears throat> but because I suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder, I have to do it. All right, it's out of privilege mode. How do I know? Swiping up, swiping down, nothing. Here we go. On my X22i, this baby has really taken care of me. If you haven't seen the buttons, they're over here. It's like a rocker switch. Right here. Come in here, rack it off and wrap it on. <clears throat> Let's do a countdown. All right. Five seconds. See how long it takes to actually boot up. It takes a while. Ten seconds. Fifteen seconds. This is where it would normally... Well, no, it would still this. Twenty seconds. I think that's pretty cool, this little automation. Okay. Has it been 30 seconds yet? I don't know. I've lost count. You can, uh, you can actually rewind this video and do a countdown. All right. This is where it would normally go into the desktop. If it hasn't already been into the desktop, I, I'm not sure. It's been in uh, privilege mode for me for so long that this is kind of new. But the great thing is that now I can answer one of the comments. It does its thing there. And I believe this is where it takes about 10 seconds. Three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then, maybe more than ten seconds. Oh, there it is. That was about ten seconds because I started counting at three. You got the iFit logo. You get the little cool animation where that little arrow turns into an iFit logo, I believe. Yep, it blinks. There's your iFit logo. And then, any minute now, iFit, any minute now, Nordic Track. And here we go. I believe his name is John Peel. And I don't know who these other folks are. All right, guys. This video has uh, been brought to you by one of the comments that someone placed. They wanted to know how to reset it so that they don't have a lock or a password and that it automatically boots up to the iFit. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content and be alerted when I put something on, go ahead and uh, hit the subscribe button. And I want to say thank you to all of you for uh, Thank you to all of you for a shout out to Samantha. She asked, how do you undo this? I really don't like the home screen being a computer. I want to undo admin mode. I'm right there with you. Rather than my X22i booting up to a desktop, I would rather that it boots up to the iFit cardio app like it used to. That's the reason why I made this video. Thanks again.